And here to break down what these indictments mean is Sam Nelson. Yeah, Sam is the chair of the Political Science and Public Administration Department at the University of Toledo, a favorite here on our show. Thanks, Sam, for being here tonight. Thanks. And so the question that we have for you is if you could just break down from the very beginning what these three pleas mean. We've got Paul Manafort and Rick Gates not guilty, right. George Papadopoulos guilty, and we're talking about varying federal charges, money laundering, obstruction of justice, acting as an unregistered foreign agent. So what does all of this mean? <laughs> Well, these may only be the first of the charges that we're going to see, both for Manafort and Gates and for others. I think that Papadopoulos shows you somebody who's cooperating. He's agreed to a plea agreement, and we know that he's been cooperating with the Mueller investigation for a couple of months. Mueller's goal is to get Manafort and Gates to cooperate in a similar way. They're much more high-profile figures. It's going to take more pressure. They're now looking at decades of prison time and uh, large financial penalties. Uh, so he's got leverage with them. And so many people might focus on Paul Manafort, the former campaign chairman, but you really feel it's George Papadopoulos that might be the one the White House should be most concerned about. Why is that? Papadopoulos has entered into a plea agreement where he's said these are the facts that I agree are true. And they all involve communications between him, the campaign, and Russia. So that speaks to the overarching collusion story that we've been interested in ever since Jim Comey was fired, uh, since before then. So that could be related to Russia, which is, is something the White House has been concerned about. For right. Sure. Whereas Manafort, uh, those crimes are financial crimes that are not directly linked to Russia yet. Right. Well, we talked earlier today, Dr. Nelson, you hinted that Special Counsel Robert Mueller may know more. Oh, I think he has a, a clear overall picture of what's going on. These are tiny pieces, what was revealed today. I mean, what he's putting in an indictment, what he's putting in a plea agreement, that's just maybe the surface of what he actually knows. He only has to put enough in the indictment to justify the charges. He doesn't have to give his whole case there and everything else that he knows. And what do you think the response has been from the Trump administration? Uh, we saw Sarah Huckabee Sanders there saying there's you know, no association. The president himself said today, once again, no collusion. How are they going to handle Paul Manafort and maybe Papadopoulos? Well, it looks like they're trying to say that the campaign manager wasn't heavily involved in the campaign. I don't think that's really a, a good story to tell, uh, that people, are, people know what a campaign manager is. Um, I think that last week really gives you some picture of what they're going to do, try to throw some dust in the air, uh, try to distract with Hillary Clinton and various things, try to distract with questions about who paid for dossiers and things like that. So the strategy is largely going to be try to distract, try to discredit uh, Robert Mueller, uh, things like that. But the White House can't control this story. Uh, Robert Mueller controls this story. And so we had a flurry of activity today. What is next? I think that um, we'll spend a lot of time this week trying to figure out who the unnamed people are in these documents. Uh, who's the professor that's mentioned in the plea agreement? Who's, you know, campaign supervisor A? Um, I think that um, the behind the scenes thing that's going to be going on is the pressure applied to Manafort trying to get him to cooperate. But we won't know anything about that. Mueller is running a really tight ship and there are no leaks. So it could out. go quiet for a number of weeks and all of a sudden something new could come out. So this drama will continue to play out, it sounds like. Exactly. And Pap Papadopoulos today, that was a surprise. Nobody saw that coming. There was no previous reporting about that. Mm -hmm. The White House, it didn't look like they were expecting that to come out. There could be other surprises like that, other people. Very quickly in closing, why should people care? Because this has been going around it's been out there for at least a year, if not more. Why should people care about these indictments? I think if this was the first time we were hearing about this, we would know why we cared. It's a huge deal, but we have scandal fatigue right now. I think because the story's in the papers, it's in the press every day, we, it's just become part of the background of our lives, um, this Russia investigation. But this is the campaign manager. This is the campaign involved potentially with Russia. We know lots of other evidence about Russian involvement in that campaign that may or may not have to do with uh, the Trump campaign itself. Um, that speaks to the, the very legitimacy of our elections and whether we're running them or whether they're being interfered with from outside forces. People definitely have a right to know, that is for sure. So. That's for sure. Dr. Sam yes. Nelson is the chair of the Political Science and Public Administration Department at the University of Toledo. We thank you for coming on. Thank you. I think we'll have you back. Okay. This is uh, not going to go away anytime soon. As I don't think so. Yeah. All right, Sam, thanks so much. Thanks.